eat it. Let me introduce myself. Sheila Gilby, fastest bricklayer in the West. Right, let's get building. Into your mixer, tip in 55 grams of margarine, 55 grams of caster sugar, and cream until smooth. Fast, you ain't seen nothing yet. Then tip in 225 grams of curd or cream cheese, one small egg, in it goes, a few drops of vanilla essence, don't be too generous, that should do, and half the grated rind of a lemon. And mix really well. Is your cement. Then lay your tarpaulin, better known to most people as aluminium foil. You want a double layer, approximate dimensions 45 by 45. Then count your bricks. You need 27 new unbroken putty burr biscuits like this. And like all good brickies, you have to dip them first in milk. Dip and lay onto your tarpaulin. Now, you need three in a row. Dip in and lay long ways, like so. And then three going down. And so on, until you've laid nine. Then trowel on your cement. Now, you don't want it too thick. Just a nice, even layer. Don't want any subsidence. Spread it out right to the edges. Easily does it. And it's time to lay your second course, of course, exactly on top of the first. Dip and lay. More cement, more bricks, and the final layer of cement. And if there's any left over, just slap it on in the middle. Then take the edges of your tarpaulin and bring them gently together in the middle. So your bricks form a self-supporting pyramidal construction, complete with cavity insulation. Seal up the top, seal up the ends to protect from frost, and place in the refrigerator to set. <sighs> Better clear up this mess. Looks just like a building site. Now for the sealant. You need 225 grams of chocolate, one large bar, a couple of tablespoons of milk, and the grated rind of half an orange. And you melt that together in a water bath, which is a saucepan of water in which a heat-resistant bowl fits snugly, so its bottom is in the water, but it doesn't touch the bottom of the pan. Right, that looks as if it's melted. Gas off, oven glove on, and pour that over your pyramidal construction. The great unveiling. There we are. Now, coat with chocolate, making sure that all cracks and fissures are thoroughly weatherproofed. Smooth it out. And pebble dash with walnuts. <sighs> Told you I was quick. And leave it to consolidate in the fridge. Mmm. Yummy.
And if you want the do-it-yourselfers guide to the self-erecting pyramid cake, just look in the Builders Weekly, or um, as it's better known, the Do It Supplement.